Okay, so everyone knows that NET is my favorite mind-body healing modality, but it's not the only one out there. And just like NET has its master chart, which maps out the major emotions and their body correlations, other systems have their own charts and maps too. I used to look at the charts and maps in other systems and get all butthurt if I thought they were ripping off the NET charts. But you know what? Nobody owns the copyright to emotions, and emotional correlations to different areas of the body are also not proprietary information. It's mostly just straight-up physiology that crosses cultures and time. For example, let's take a look at the green zone on the NET master chart. This area corresponds to the wood element in Chinese medicine. The wood organs are the liver and gallbladder, and the emotional correlations are mainly the emotions of anger, depression, frustration, aggression, galled, irrational, indecision, stuff like that. But they're not just Chinese correlations. Look at our own language and the word galled, as in gallbladder. What does it mean to be galled? Well, that emotion is basically really annoyed or irritated. When you say someone has a lot of gall, it's like saying that person's got a lot of nerve. Or the word bilious, as in bile, it means that someone is really irritating or bad-tempered. Even in the Middle Ages, it was believed that depression came from black bile in the liver or gallbladder, and that yellow bile was responsible for creating an angry temperament. Or look at the blue zone on the NET master chart. This area corresponds to the water element in Chinese medicine. The water organs are the kidneys and bladder. The traditional emotional correlations are emotions like fear, dread, paralyzed will, timid, wishy-washy, bad memory, miffed, and impending doom. Again, it's not just a Chinese thing. Think about it. If someone is really scared, what is the commonly imagined physical manifestation of that? It's someone pissing themselves, right? So, emotions are not just in your head, they're in your body. They manifest through your body. So doesn't it make sense that an effective emotional healing approach would incorporate body and mind elements into the mix? Yes, yes it does. Anyhow, let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in hearing more about which emotions correlate to which parts of the body in the NET system. Even without receiving NET, just knowing more about the interplay of body and emotions can help empower you to better take on your day-to-day -day life.